this whole yeah. episode has brought to light serious shortcomings. And I'm somebody who has exposed spies and foreign agents here going back many decades. Uh, the, there are real serious shortcomings in our laws. We should not be having a lot of these international contacts. But Donald Trump, uh, the reason I think the obstruction issue is in fact highly relevant here is why would you lie and deny if you haven't done anything wrong? Lying and denying is evidence of a guilty mind. And Donald Trump lied and denied, directed other people to lie. He is essentially an unindicted co-conspirator, in, uh, 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 individual one in the criminal charges that uh, were uh, pled to as campaign violations by Michael Cohen. Uh, Mueller concluded that the help that was provided couldn't be valued, and it would be a very difficult thing to do and to uh, suss out in terms of our campaign finance laws, but that the Trump campaign provided sensitive information that helped the Russians in their efforts to make sure that Hillary Clinton didn't get in the White House. And remember, the Russians also tried to help the Bernie Sanders campaign for the same reason. They did not want Hillary Clinton because she had made it clear she was going to do everything she could short of war to make uh, Vladimir Putin give up Crimea and other actions. To suggest there's nothing going on here is, I think, just wrong. There's lots of evidence of it, and you don't lie, deny, obstruct, and cover up unless you know you've done something wrong. It may not be wrong to a criminal standard, and Mueller has said it's not. We can't prove anything to the criminal standard of beyond a reasonable doubt, but they show an enormous amount of conduct that is improper. If you get a call from a hostile foreign power, as Don Jr. did when he got his email, and you don't pick up the phone and call FBI counterintelligence, I think, and I would hope that Glenn would agree with me, that that is not an act of a patriot or a loyal person or even one with a fundamental sense of decency and morality. The kindest thing you can say about Donald Trump is that he has divided loyalties. Donald Trump's ultimate loyalty is only to Donald Trump. It is not to his oath of office. It is not to the country. At DC Report, we've been documenting all the things he's doing that hurt the forgotten man that he promised to be the champion of and who he is actively, aggressively working against in his administration. I and you don't lie, deny, and cover up unless you know you did something wrong.